I'm Jeff Malmer and I'm a 3M specialist in the lab and I'm going to be talking to you today about masking tapes. Um, 3M's been making masking tapes for almost 100 years. We invented the, the masking tape in 1924 by uh, Dr. Drew and it was really designed for applications in the automotive industry. And a hundred years later, we have progressed through all these masking tapes that you see in front of you using different technologies and backings and bringing innovation to the product line. Some of the adhesive chemistries that we use are really focused on, actually we're really focused on two adhesive chemistries, a rubber-based chemistry and an acrylic chemistry. They both have, have their features and their benefits. A rubber-based chemistry or rubber-based adhesive is going to give you typically a higher level of adhesion, so it's going to stick to a lot of surfaces really well. It's going to build adhesion very quickly, and by what I mean from that is that it's going to start at an adhesion level that's at this, you know, a higher level, but over time it's going to build very, very quickly. And it's not going to give you a lot of long-term removability. I think everybody can relate to this right here, whether you use a masking tape or a duct tape in the past, and this is caused by exposure to UV light. So it doesn't make it a bad adhesive chemistry, just know what its applications and its limitations for. The other adhesive chemistry that we use is an acrylic. An acrylic is going to have a more medium level of adhesion to start with. It's going to be a little bit safer for multi-uses and more delicate surfaces, and it's going to have a slow controlled adhesion build, so it's after 14 days or it's even 60 days, the removal force is going to be very, very similar at 60 days as it was to day one. It's also going to give you great long-term UV stability, so you're going to have that clean removability. So those are the two adhesive chemistries that we really um, focus on within our, our portfolio of tapes. When you're choosing the right tape, there's a few things that you need to know about the project or what you're sticking to. So what is the surface that you're going to be applying the tape to? Is it a rough surface? Is it a freshly painted surface? Is it a polyurethane, a baseboard? Those sort of things, you need to know that. How long will the tape need to be on the surface before you remove it? That's very, very important. Is it a get it on, get it off sort of thing? Maybe like a new production painting? Or is it going to be a project that's going to take you a couple of weekends or maybe even longer? Environmental concerns, inside, is it outside where it's exposed to weather and conditions? Is it going to be experiencing a lot of UV sunlight? And then lastly, kind of what, what is the coating that you're going to be putting over the top of the tape? If we know those three or four things, we can really recommend the best tape for the job. So once you know the tape that you're going to be using for the job, you need to apply the tape properly. It's not just a matter of sticking the tape on the surface, walking away from it and slapping some paint over the top of it. There are some tips and techniques and I'll show you those, those tips and techniques. So what you want to do when you're applying a masking tape is you really do not want to stretch the tape. It's going to be like a rubber band where it's going to want to kind of bounce back and, and get back to its normal shape. What you want to do is lay the tape kind of where you want it, or where you want it I should say, lightly tack it down, step back and make sure that you've got it in the right position. If you need to adjust it, you haven't tacked it down and you can adjust it again. Lightly tack it down, that's where I want it to be. Then you need to come back and you need to wipe over that tape. We call that burnishing or knifing it down. You can use your hand, you can use a putty knife, you can use a five-way tool, but you do need to make sure that you have that, that adhesive and that tape in good contact with the surface to give you the best paint line possible. So now you're going to apply your paint to the surface um, and you're going to remove the, the tape when you're done with your project. We recommend removing the tape when the paint is just dry to touch. That is, it's, it's neatest that way. It's going to pull through the paint film so you don't have paint pulling off of the wall. And it's just the best recommendation that we, we have. If you wait a little bit too long, you simply take a utility knife or a razor blade and score along the tape paint edge and you can pull the, the, the tape off at that point. The way we recommend removing the tape is to focus on angle and rate. Those are really the two important things. You don't want to grab it and rip it off very quickly. And there's no reason to really pull it off at a very slow snail pace. What you want to do is you want to put it off, pull it back on a moderate rate, pull it off at a moderate rate, back on itself a little bit, just taking your time to pull that down. So again, angle and rate, 
back on itself at about a 45 degree angle. And that's going to give you the best results and the most damage free removal. If you're starting to have some problems where you might see some damage, stop, don't go all in. Change your angle, change your rate a little bit and you're going to have some good results there. So now that you know how to choose the right tape, you know, know how to use, when and, and how to remove it, we're going to talk about the portfolio of tapes that we have. And we have our tapes set out into basically three pillars or three um, areas. Um, I like to use the word pillars. We have our basic masking category, which is going to be down here at the bottom. It's going to be our 2020 and our 2020 plus orange. We have our multi-surface, which is going to be right up here. And we also have our surface specific category. So I'm going to start with the basic. So our 2020 tape has a rubber adhesive. So if you remember right, it's going to give you that short removal time but it's not gonna make it a bad tape. Just know what its limitations are. This is a tape that's gonna give you a high level of adhesion. It's going to have a three day interior removal, removability claim. It's really designed for that production painter or that new resi residential painter that's going to put the tape on the surface. Maybe in the morning, at the end of the day, he's taking it off the surface maybe even a couple of days, but it's a high level of adhesion. It's a really good tape. It's an opening price point tape in our basic masking category. Again, a tape that you really wanna focus on the pro market or the pro end user with. So moving up a little bit within that basic category, we're gonna have our 2020 plus orange tape. This is gonna have a little bit higher level of adhesion than the 2020 masking tape. It's gonna have a little bit stronger backing than the 2020 masking tape. It's gonna give you a little bit more premium, quite a bit more premium feel actually with the backing and with the adhesion. The higher adhesion is gonna help you on some harder to stick to surfaces. The stronger backing is gonna help eliminate some slivering, which is, is coming off in bits and pieces. It's just gonna handle a little better. And the other thing, and then probably the most obvious around this is the orange backing. The high visibility backing is really accepted in the market, marketplace by the pro end user to, to help determine what the type of tape is, where the tape is. It's just a really, really good pro painter's tape with strong, robust backing, high level of adhesion, and a highly visible backing. It's gonna give you three days of clean removability inside as well. It's also gonna give you a little bit of solvent resistance if you're using a coating over the top of it that does have solvent in it, like maybe a lacquer. Um, so that would be our, our two tapes within our basic masking tape category. So moving into our multi-surface tapes, we have three tapes within the multi-surface tape category. It's gonna be our 2090 Original, our 2093 Sharp Lines, and our 2098 Ultra Sharp Line Tape. 2090 Original is the blue tape that create, is, is the tape that created the blue tape market over 30 years ago. Back in the day, you only had a tan tape or rubber-based tape that had to come off at the end of the day. So painters were coming in and prepping. At the end of the day, they were taking their prep work down and the next day they were, they were re-prepping. 2090 is gonna give you 14 days of clean removability inside and actually outside. It has great UV resistance. It's a multi-surface tape for baseboards, trim, metal, glass, tile. Um, lots and lots of different surfaces. It's actually even turned into kind of a junk drawer tape and multi-purpose tape from that aspect too. But it's gonna have a, a crepe backing. It's gonna have your acrylic adhesive. So again, remember, your acrylic adhesives have a little bit lower adhesion level, so more in a medium adhesive or adhesion, and it's gonna give you that great UV resistance for that clean removability. So if you're using a tape that's, or if you need a tape that's gonna experience sunlight and UV light, this is a great tape for that. This is just kind of, this is a, a, one of our go-to tapes. This is the go-to tape within our portfolio for our multi-surface category. Used by homeowners, used by professional painters, used just about everywhere. Schools, offices, um, like I say, junk drawers, it's just a great all-around tape. So within that category of the multi-surface, Kind of moving up the scale a little bit, we're going to go with our 2093 Sharp Lines tape. 
We're going from 14 days clean removability with 2090 to 21 days of clean removability with the 2093 sharp lines. Um, we changed the backing up a little bit. It's gonna have a, a smoother backing compared to that crepe. We're still using an acrylic adhesive, so you're gonna have that great long-term removability. It's still gonna be the same sort of applications of baseboards, trim, metal, glass, tile, um, those sort of things, but a little bit more long-term removability. We also bring to the table with this tape, we bring our edge lock paint line technology. This is a technology that we incorporate into the adhesive that helps keep paint from bleeding underneath the tape. It gives you those sharp lines along baseboards and trim. You can even use this on paint, on painted um, drywall, as long as that painted drywall is, is, is fully cured. Technology works with the pigments and resins in the latex-based paints, forms a nice sharp paint line at the tape edge to give you, again, those really crisp, nice, sharp lines. So this is gonna give you 21, again, 21 days of clean removability inside and out. It's going to give you the edge lock technology to give you those sharp paint lines as well. The last tape within the category of multi-surface is gonna be our 2098 Ultra Sharp Lines. This is a tape that was introduced a few years ago and what we've done with this tape is we've brought it an innovative poly backing to the table. Unlike the paper tapes that we've, we've talked about before, this is actually a plastic back tape that gives you a nice snap tear, nice straight tear, so you have a surface or an edge that can go right into the corners of walls and trims and windows and things like that. It's very, very strong. It's gonna give you one piece removal because of its strength. And it also has our advanced edge lock technology in this where we're gonna give you the ultra sharp paint lines that, that some jobs may require. So you get the snap tear. The way you wanna tear it is the easiest way probably to show somebody how to tear that is to pull off a length of tape. I pinch it right next to the core with my index finger and my thumb and I do the same thing with my right hand, and you give it a quick tear. And it's gonna give you that nice straight tear. You don't wanna do that slow, because if you do that slow, it's just, it's just gonna it's just gonna tear on you. It's not gonna give you that, that the advantages of the poly backing. So 28 days of clean interior removability on this. Ultra sharp paint lines. The poly backing for the snap tear for the for the one-piece removal. It's just a really innovative tape within that multi-surface um, tape category. Again, baseboards, trim, metal, glass, tile. So to show you the paint lines that you're gonna get, we have this paint line reveal board. You can see how I'm pulling it back at the angle and rate that's appropriate, but we're gonna give you these really, really nice, crisp, sharp paint lines um, with the 2098 ultra sharp line tape. So moving into the next category of our tapes, we're gonna get into the surface specific tapes. So again, this goes back to how to choose the tape. We have the multi-surface tapes, we have the kind of the production type tapes. These are gonna be great tapes for, for most applications, but sometimes you really need a specific tape for a specific application or a specific surface. And we do have three tapes within this category that, that really do fit all of, the, all of those special needs cases. The first one, I want to talk about is going to be our rough surfaces 2060. This is going to have a high level of adhesion, a high coat weight of adhesive, so it's going to stick well to rough surfaces like brick, concrete, stucco, grout. Here's a, an example of a surface that's going to work really well. As you can see on this, you have the grout lines on the brick. The crepe backing that we have here, again, it's going to be highly textured backing, has a lot of stretch to it, so it's going to go down into those nooks and those crannies and, and stretch, and it's going to stay there because of the high level of adhesion and the high coat weight of, of the tape. This is going to give you five days of clean removability inside, and it's actually going to give you three days of clean removability outside. So you think about, a lot of people think about rough surfaces, they immediately go outside to think of rough wood, they think of you know, your brick front, your, your brick siding, hardy siding, things like that. 
But going inside, you have a lot of stone fireplace mantles, a lot of brick fireplace mantles. You may have some, some brick or some tile, um, textured tile for backsplashes and things like that. So this is a great tape for those applications. And it's gonna give you solvent resistance. So if, if somebody is using solvents like in a lacquer, this is gonna be a great tape for that. It's gonna give you those, again, five days of clean removability. Designed really for rough surfaces, so like concrete, brick, stucco, grout, rough wood, those sort of surfaces where you need a little bit more adhesion, a little bit more stretch to be able to stick to those hard to stick to surfaces. So the next tape is gonna be our 2097 exterior tape. This uses the same poly backing as our 2098 Ultra Sharp line. So you get the great features of that backing of the snap tear. You get the one piece removal because of the strength in the backing. And what this is going to give to you from an exterior standpoint, it's gonna give you a high level of adhesion. When people, go, when end users go outside with a the tape, they're typically going to need something that's gonna have a little bit higher level of adhesion because they're gonna be hard to stick to surfaces. So they may go down to a tape over here, but this isn't gonna give you that longer term removability because they don't have great UV stability, UV resistance. This tape in an outdoor environment is gonna give you 10 days of clean removability. So it's gonna stay up and come down when you, when you need it to. And the poly backing is weatherproof. So what that means is you can prep once, you don't have to worry about trying to, tr trying to time your project over the course of the day or several days where you know you're gonna have good weather. If we have some weather coming in, it gets, it, it rains, this poly backing is gonna keep all that moisture away from the adhesive, so it's gonna stay adhered to the surface and you can take it off when you need, need to take it off. And we, we, we have a demo that, that shows this with water flowing out over it and, and it shows you how the, the surface under the tape just really, really stays nice and dry. So again, it's a weatherproof tape, 10 days of clean removability outside, poly backing for one piece removal, snap tear. And the other thing that's kind of nice about this tape is because of the backing, it gives you that one piece um, snap tear. You can also conform it around arch windows. And this will be a same sort of thing that you can do with our 2098 sharp lines. So if you're dealing with an accent window, along with some trim, you have this great conformability here to go around those surfaces, those, those little bit more difficult surfaces. If you were to do this with a paper tape, you're probably gonna be using bits and pieces and, and, and shorter segments of tape and piecing it and puzzling it together. And then when you go to take the, that off, that may come off in, in those little sections. This is gonna come off in that one nice, easy piece. The next tape within our surface specific line is gonna be our 2080 delicate surface. This is the perfect tape for those delicate surfaces such as fresh paint, where you're gonna do an accent wall, maybe you're gonna do stripes, um, wood floors. Wood floors are actually a very delicate surface at time. They, they get a lot of wear and tear. They're exposed to a lot of harsh environments. Sometimes that floor finish just kind of breaks down and wants to come off. Wallpaper, veneers, cabinetry, those are all examples of delicate surface. This is gonna give you 60 days of clean removability inside. It has a very, very smooth, very thin washi backing. But don't e with this tape, don't equate thinness with, with weakness. This tape is actually very, very strong. This also, in addition to the 60 days clean removability for projects, you know, something like this would be an ideal project for this tape, where you're gonna be doing multiple colors, you're gonna be putting the tape under fresh paint, coming back with a second color, things like that. It has our edge lock technology in it as well. So you're going to get those sharp paint lines that a project like this is going to require. So 60 days interior clean removability, delicate surfaces like freshly, paint, fr uh, freshly painted walls, Wood floors, cabinetry, veneers, wallpaper, those would all be examples of delicate surfaces. So that, that kind of rounds out our portfolio of, tape, of, of tapes, all the way from basic to multi-surfaces to surface specific. So from a, from a 3M standpoint, we really, really work hard to stay abreast of paint Technologies. Paint technologies are constantly changing. They're making paints more durable these days. They're making them harder to stick to. They're, they're, 
things are just washing off with water, uh, lightly scrub them. So all those things that are happening to the paints are essentially making them at times harder to stick to. Environment can, can, can come into play as well. It could be very humid, which may affect the adhesion of the tape to, this, to the paint surface as well. So if you're outside doing an exterior application or exterior project and you're having a hard time with your, your tape sticking, you really want to go with our 2097 exterior tape. This is really going to help in those, those hard to stick to conditions. A couple other tapes that we would, we, another tape that we would really recommend for that kind of indoor or outdoor, maybe a little bit more short removability time, would be our 2060 rough surfaces. These are the two tapes that we're really going to kind of, kind of um, point you in a direction towards if you're having a hard time getting your um, tape to stick to. So that should wrap up, that wraps up kind of the, the product knowledge section and if you have any further questions, a great resource for all the 3M products is to call our helpline and the helpline for that is just simply 1-800-3M-HELPS. That'll get you to somebody that can help you with specific questions around your, your, your project that you may have.